What's up guys and girls, this is Tim here, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So you join me in a slightly different state to what you left off with last time. Um, it's going to take me a minute to catch you up on where we've been, but I'm not going to drone on too long. We're going to get on to the main objectives this episode as soon as possible because we need to get cracking because it's going to take me a little bit of time. But um, to give you a long short of it, I've been a bit quieter on the channel last week or so, uh, for those of you who have noticed, uh, partly because I've not been very well, I'm still suffering from the end of a cold, uh, nothing serious, just something that's kind of maybe not particularly want to record. Um, I did, in the high of my illness time, illness, it, this is full on man flu by the way that I'm, I'm referring to here, um, I, I did actually sit down for a day and try and record, and I'll, I'll cover it at some point in the future, but it was like the worst, most disastrous day of, uh, of recording that I've ever had, and I got nothing to show for it. Um, not because of technical issues, which is normally my problem, but because uh, I, I just they were just awful and one of the things I recorded on that day was this I spent about two and a half hours trying to record an episode for this um, and that's two and a half hours of playtime so what you're seeing here is about three hours onward because I played a little bit after that as well uh, about three hours onward from where I left off in the last episode uh, and most of that two and a half hours was spent on this fucking catastrophe um, so basically what this is supposed to be is uh, a water purification system. Uh, so what it does, for those of you who've probably seen it already, but those of you who haven't, is uh, these batteries heat up, they boil the water, which I'm pumping in uh, contaminated water, they boil it, turn it into steam, it floats up to the top, gets caught in this pump, this pump then, if I go into the gas thing, uh, this pump then pumps it into these coolers, which then cool it down to below 100 degrees, so it's no longer steam. It then comes down here and it's expelled through this vent into my... Uh, uh, clean water tank. Oh, at least that was the theory. What though? Uh, what's happening? I don't know if this is to do with the thermal update because I've seen this. I mentioned before that there's a girl called I think it's called Hello Lacey who I, that might not be her. So if that's not her, sorry. Look for the girl with Lacey and this on her channel. Uh, I, this is her sort of partly her design and it it was seemed to work well for her. Um, I modified it slightly because what I wanted to have is a recirculating system because I was playing around with the theory that. Uh, maybe I could push more water through the system if I allowed it to drop down into the base and then get recirculated. However, the way that the temperature system in this game works is 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 not does not relate to real world physics. I don't know. I don't think it's working as intended, but maybe it is. But if it's working as intended, it's not based on anything in this planet. Um, so principles say water drips in and it's allowed to zigzag back and forth here until hopefully it heats up uh the problem i've got though is these ones down here are overheating and now broken uh, and just so you know i'm pumping in way way more you may not have very very little water in so i do have valves to control it but i'm pumping the maximum amount in right now because i just want to fill this up to here to submerge these slightly in water so that they won't keep overheating because these ones keep overheating and breaking and these ones never get above about 20 degrees now I have done something which may be breaking it, which is, um, I've actually, I can see how much of a fucking clusterfuck my power system is right now. Um, I've isolated the majority of these batteries from the main system, so they got charged up by this coal generator, and then the, that, then I could isolate them from the rest of the system. Um, now, based on this, if you look, it says heat production 6.3 watts. Uh, this one, which is actually currently active, so it's being charged and discharged regularly, is still also producing 6.3 watts. So it doesn't seem to have, as long as there's charge in them, they seem to be producing heat. Um, but, yeah, even after days and days of this running, it's never warmed up enough. This is a close, uh, oh, even that's dropped off. Yeah, this is at 96 degrees. These got to about 80, yeah, 89, 90, 85. But, like, the water, by the time it gets down to here is 26.3 degrees but let me, if i show you the temperature gradient you'll see these are red hot these are cold but i suppose they're not running right now so that makes sense these are temperate uh 26 degrees if you notice it's warmer outside here than it is in here now granted i've, I've used insulating blocks so you'd expect that to a degree but i was thinking well maybe i'm losing heat out of this somehow but i don't really think i am because as i say most of it around it is either hotter or at least the same temperature so I have no idea. So I'm going to abandon that for now. Uh, I say, if you if you can spot anything, I say, don't tell me that I need to lower the amount of water going in. I've literally had this. The lowest this can possibly go, based on my sort of playing with it, is uh, that's a thousand grams. Is 
46 grams per second. I have been running it on that normally. I can't run it lower than that, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's happening with it. Uh, but we are, as you can see, I'm pumped all this water out now. I'm trying to capture this little bit of contaminated water separately. Once that gets below that level, I'm going to uh, put another block there. Um, so I have topped this tank up with this, but I now have, as far as I can tell, a little bit there. There's no fresh water anywhere, so we are going to have to get to uh, purifying water pretty quickly. Polluted water. Oh, there's a... Uh, uh, the puff. No, it's not a puff. I want a hatch. And I really want a couple of hatches to generate coal because I am, um, I am burning through coal. So yeah, the plan today is having failed miserably on the battery situation idea. We are going to move over to the magma technique for purifying water. Now I could, I've actually got rid of the filter. I'll come back to that later. I could just use a filtration system to do this. That would probably be relatively sensible. But actually, what I want to do is. Um, uh, as I say, I want to use heat because it's cheaper and I don't then have to worry about finding sand, which eventually is going to run out. So let's do this. Um, what else happened while I've been away? Oh, also, um, I've, I've shifted, I say, in the process of getting rid of that, I've actually ignored this as well. This is this has all been hours and hours of pissing around and playing around and, and nothing working. But uh, I've actually switched this around because this kept kept clogging up as a self-enclosed enclosed system. So right now, uh, it's actually not a enclosed system. So the, the fresh water is being pumped into the system from here, and then it's being pumped out of here. Uh, and once this is filled up enough to stop these from overheating, I will uh, I will shut that off. So yeah, so we are burning through our water, and we're sort of collecting the contaminated down here, but there's no, it doesn't feel like there's actually that much there. Right, let's get on though, and send our people southwards. Uh, it needs to be a level 9, because anything that's not a level 9 in this game right now seems to just not get, ever get done. Ooh, hang on a minute, that's probably unhelpful unless I do that. Um, uh, why... Could you do the other one first? I know it was my mistake, but I'd like it if you, uh... There we go. One and two. There we go. Now you can do it, right. Oh, they all just fuck off because I told them that was a level 8. No, they're, they're all still level 9. They did the 8 one anyway. Uh, I got three of these running now. Um, I can't... I, I'm going to struggle now with what I've said in the episodes that I've dumped. Episode that I've dumped. But, um... I think I said in a previous episode that... Uh, the way the power system works is that is well the way I said it was wrong basically um, you have to build individual circuits so for example if you look there it's a circuit status 1.2 kilowatts out of 2 kilowatts so that is fine because the heavy heavy watt wire has 2 kilowatt of range um, over here you can see uh, 0 0 because it's not actually attached to anything that's fine uh, 1.8 for that circuit so you actually have to break things up into individual circuits so if you look uh, this all here uh, basically everything from this line that I'm drawing down here to the right is all running off these two coal generators and one of these windy runny mill things uh, everything to the left is running off these two uh, and the uh, hydrogen generator. So you actually have to break your base up into individual circuits that are not more than 2,000 watts. I don't really like that, if I'm honest with you. I feel like I don't want to have to have like power generators all over my fucking base just to to deal with what's what's not a system that would you would use in real life. You, you wouldn't... You have heavy watt wire, which say you might have your super high voltage line that you all see trailing across the country uh, that carry hun hundreds of tens if not hundreds of thousands of volts and then you have the next level down which you see sort of around your villages and towns which have sort of a thousand watt, uh, volts in them and then they get knocked down to 240 volts so that's what i'd like to see they could fix it pretty pretty easily just by making the heavy watt wire either making a high voltage line or something like that which is like 10,000 watts or you could make it where you have um you know, you just have the uh, the normal heavy watt wire having about 5,000 watts, so you could use it more. Now, I know watts and volts are different, so don't pull me up on that, but uh, but that's the simplest way to explain it. Uh, the farm, uh, I just realised that there is a underwater liquid algae farm. Well, it's not an algae farm. I wish it was an algae farm. That'd be really useful. Um, can be used as a floor tile when turned a seed. Must be submerged in liquid. Does it matter what liquid? 
Okay, I suppose it could go in uh, contaminated water. Um, one requirement. It doesn't tell me grow what I get. I mean, I assume I get some kind of food out of it. It'd be quite nice if I got algae for it. We're well, not too bad for food. I got. I guess I struggled with food at one point. Um, I've run out of mealwood entirely now, so we are we are on to bristlewood, which is not too much of an issue as long as I can keep temperature down. But uh. We're starting to struggle with temperature over here a little bit. Oxygen's still good though. Uh, plenty of oxygen in the base. Let's have a look at the oxygen overlay. Um, I'm dealing with the remnants of, uh, say, I had issues with the power when I was messing around with this. My power kept going down, and when I was sending people off to do stuff, they were obviously not generating power. Most before I built this second generator, they were. This was my sole or main source of power. So um, things started to stagnate a lot in the base. Oh my god, we ran out of coal already. Uh, so yeah, I, 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 things were not going well for a while, which led to, and I probably could get away with it not saying it, but I, I'm, I'm honest, Timmy. So I will say it is. Uh, two colonists died. <laughs> they were up here. Actually, I could get away with it because they built these. Um, R.I.P. Joe Bird. She unfortunately died. Oh, I think she died of suffocation, as did. No, starvation or suffocation? One of the two, I don't know, and boss. Um, they were they were found at the base of these long shafts. Um, so I, I did fortunately replace her. We've got a new, hotter model of Joe Bird uh, and boss somewhere. I don't know which I got for boss. Oh fuck! I thought I had two, two Madisons then. That would have been really awkward. Um, yeah, so I had to I had to I had to replace them unfortunately, uh, and I have someone else as well because we have six people now and I only had five before uh, ha who's, who else we got Hassan I think it's Hassan Hassan and Frankie were the last two that weren't replacements oh that was quick uh oh don't go freaking that's going to drive them mad if they're thinking about doing that all the time um, yeah nice big chunk of coal here but I don't want to break into this chlorine and hydrogen just yet if there's some way to get the hydrogen up into there that would be really nice could do it be a bit convoluted but Think about it. Is this all polluted oxygen? Yeah. No, it's a more. So uh, the hatches, if you don't know, which most I'm sure probably do, um, they basically will eat anything and then will turn it into coal. Now, in my practice series, I have ha I have literally an infestation of hatches. They are they are everywhere. Um, so what I've done is I've created chambers for them to to live in. Uh, and then I've dumped in loads of resources I don't need. Like for example, like now would be. Uh, sandstone at 91,000 kilos, which I will never use. So I dump in like 10,000 kilos of sandstone, and then they happily munch away on that and produce coal for me. And it's a slow burn, but it's actually worked pretty well. I've had like, um, oh yeah, took that a minute. Uh, I've had like, I don't know, probably 10 tons of coal produced or something like that. You know, like serious amounts from them. So, but unfortunately, I haven't seen a single hatch in this colony. There are morbs everywhere. And there's a puffed thing down here. Oh, it is a puffed. <laughs> I was saying that uh, ironically, but it is actually a puffed. Uh, but yeah, nothing else. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, over here I, I built this because people were getting sick. Uh, I went through a bit of a dark time, which I would like to have shown you, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to happen again. Where basically everyone started to fucking die. Like, not die. So everyone hit started to get stressed. They hit 100%, flat out 100%, and... You know, I got, I every now and again with this game, I get to the point where I'm like, okay, I just have to accept that everyone's stressed the fuck, and I'm just going to leave it there, and just deal with the problems that are causing them to get stressed, rather than trying to deal with their stress. So they just stop puking everywhere, and the whole base is covered in puke, and it's, it's, it's not a happy time for anyone involved. But like I say, sometimes in this game, I think you literally just have to give up on the fact that, um, you know, that you can keep people happy. Uh, actually, can you cancel that? Yeah, that's fine. Did I? Yeah, you are. This thing is coming thick and fast these days. I I could get a digger. Oh, 12 times digging and your vomiter. Oh, do I go to seven? Seven. It's a lot of people to deal with seven. Um, fuck it. Come on then, Devon. Um, I should, I should rename you to someone. Uh, you know what I'm going to rename you to is... Oop. Wrong use of the uh, cap slot there. I'm going to rename you to Charlie. And those who have been around the channel for a while will know what, why. 
something major. It's just because there's a guy called Charlie who used to comment quite a lot. But I haven't, I haven't heard from him in a while. But I hope he's well. I'm sure he is. I'm sure he's just found a better YouTuber to watch. Oh, shit me. There's loads of coal there. Right, I think it's time we had our first... Um, insulated blocks. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, because it's going to get very hot down here. And I've heard from sort of looking online mixed reports as to uh, the impacts of digging down into these hotter areas. Let's see what we're looking at now. Yeah, see it's already getting up to 45 degrees. Hopefully it won't take too long to find this magma. I'm kind of thinking like, I've seen people who've reached the edge of these maps and that's hydrogen. I wouldn't, where's that going to end up if I, build, if I let that into the base? I mean eventually it's going to end up up here but hmm I'd rather not let it in if I could avoid it, but it wouldn't be the end of the world, I don't think. And I want to build. See, the problem I'm going to have with this is the further and further I get away from the base, obviously there's not going to be much oxygen around down here unless I happen to hit a pocket of oxygen, and even that's going to get used up pretty fast. So the further I go, the less, uh, less work they're going to get done because they're going to have to do like two blocks and then rush back to take a breath of air. I like that this is running fairly regularly. The system is set up like it's not, not system, but the um, this is a losing system. I you won't generate enough hydrogen to produce enough electricity, um, which is fine though because this is actually this is how I produce oxygen for my base as well, which is also kind of important. So I'm not over against the fact that they are. That I lose on the power side of things, and obviously I'm putting water in it as well, which is also a loss for me. But that being said, I wish it was a little. I just wish I'd like to know how many of these I need to keep this running constantly. Um, more than this, obviously. I've got room to put in another two there and another layer there potentially. Which we may do at some point. But right now there is absolutely bucket loads of oxygen in the, in the base. Yeah, I mean you look at that beautiful sea of blue. I've opened this door by the way just because um, the, I, one of the things this was pumping for ages and it literally got down to being a vacuum in here because it was pumping it out so much and I was wondering whether that had something, an issue to do with the uh, the water situation or the water not heating up that it was a vacuum which makes no sense because in a vacuum water would turn to steam almost instantly or at any temperature um, but no that, that wasn't helping either. Okie doke, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna keep digging down a little bit, uh, get this up and running, hopefully this algae should be enough to just keep this running for a while, uh, let's just turn these off because they don't want that on, uh, but yeah, I'm going to let them, let them dig for a bit, and uh, once we start getting close to the bottom, I'll catch up with you guys again. Okie doke, so we are making some progress, uh, unfortunately, they, 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 I don't know what it is with the prioritisation in this game, but they just seem to like not want to fucking keep working like they will come all the way down here dig one block and then fuck off all the way back now it's not an oxygen thing because now with these running there is oxygen in here and you can see madison is breathing so i just tried to see what would happen if i locked madison in here to force him but uh i he doesn't he doesn't he's, he's protesting that idea i don't think he likes the idea of being locked in i don't blame him i guess but where are you gonna go let's see where madison goes and what he does now he's gonna go to the toilet these people need a toilet like Pretty freaking regularly. Okay, let's follow Madison. Madison, you can have a shower. There's also there's something really, really fucking broken with the showers right now because they are they are obsessed with showering. Like these people shower more times per day than I do in the average freaking. Well, I, I clean so week, let's say. Um, okay, Madison's going back down. Oh, nope. Oh no, he's going to bed. Yeah. Uh, if there's any contaminated water anywhere in the base and they step in it, they will just continuously go in showers. And I've had and normally when things start to go bad, I have to disable these because if there's, if anyone's puked or anything here, so there's contaminated water here, they will literally get out, step into contaminated water, go straight back in the shower, and then they will just stick, get stuck in that loop endlessly. It's most frustrating. Oh, this is sweet. Uh, oh shit! Yeah, the bed did get built for uh, Charlie. 
There we go. Come on, guys. You can't do like... You can't do this one block at a time because it's going to get... F See? Like, where are you going now, Charlie? What are you going to go do now? You're going to go and have a shower. Now what are you doing? Now that's weird because these are all set on eight. So why are you doing that? I normally have these set on nine just because... Um, um, just because if, if they're on eight and they don't get to doing it, then my whole oxygen system shuts down and everyone starts uh, suffocating, which is generally bad. So they're on eight and all these are on nine. So why are you not doing that? And also, I need to just remember that I need to take you off art because Frankie is now our artist after Joe Bird, the artist, died. Well done, Hassan. Like, don't get me wrong, if they're running up here and getting a breath, that's and then going back down, that's fine. But they don't do that. They, they run up there, and then they fuck it off. I think it's... They must be getting grimy down. I'm going to disable these, because I'm sick of them fucking spending their entire life in the shower. Plus, we've got a self-circulating system now. We are uh, we are burning through water pretty fast. That, uh, that secondary tank here is now empty. Uh-huh. Uh, we have a fair chunk of water in there, but that is not going to last us forever. So we have to start being very careful because until we strike magma, we are going to struggle. And we are finding some nice chunks of algae, though, so we can uh, switch back to an algae-based oxygen production system. Okay, Joe Bird went up and then came back down. That's fine. You go take a breath and then go back down. Nope. Uh, nope. Okay, where are you off to? You for poop? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, she was going to go make something then, but then the power instant automatically ran out, so now she's just randomly doing stuff. We are getting down, though. What's the temperature like? 48 degrees, and we are coming into f uh, phosphorite, which I don't know if that's a magma-type thing or not, to be honest. Seems like it might be. Let's just keep have a look at our temperature map. Uh, base is warm. I mean, these aren't helping, obviously. Um, and it, they are warm but comfortable. These are still red hot. Getting any steam in here yet? No, these are all still way too low. God, this is taking a freaking lifetime to fill up. Because they all I wanted to do is just to top up over this line here so these will cool down a bit. Yeah, 34 degrees, this is. In the whole time we've been running here, it's not got any warmer. It only got to 38 degrees. Supposedly, it's actually the tiles that lead to warm up, and it says the water runs over the tiles is what, what actually uh, causes the uh, the water to boil and turn to steam, but it ain't working for me. I, I To be fair, actually, I've realized I have no idea what um, magma even looks like. Probably something exciting. Uh, we'll go down a little bit further and then we'll make another oxygen station. Uh, probably actually be worthwhile making an oxygen station next to this. Because um, then we have a nice access to... Uh... Hmm, what was that weird noise? Nice access to the algae to, to run the oxygen station. So let's just use some of this. Uh, I don't know if I need to do this, but I'm, I'm doing it because um, I have to say I have heard reports that if you don't create airlocks for the heat, you can literally just fry your entire base instantly. So I should probably probably not do that. My base is where my duplicates live. And despite killing them, it has taken on a fairly more blasé attitude in my mind. Uh, I still probably shouldn't do it. Look at that, look at all that beautiful oxygen in there. 2,000 degrees. Yeah, I probably I shouldn't have put this one here. This is a waste of time. I want to create a pocket for them to breathe in. I don't really care about processing the oxygen as such because what little uh, oxygen I'm producing is now just circulating up to here. It's hydrogen's not carbon dioxide, so I think we'll actually deconstruct this and then we can save on using our... Um, nope, nope, get out of the way. I'll just do it. There we go. Deconstruct that.
are we doing? No coal again. I'm going to avoid going into that hole for as long as I can. I have no way or systems or particularly ideas at this point in how to deal with uh, chlorine. Oh shit, am I? I am not paying attention. Who is it? Madison? Is, oh, that's probably because when I locked him in. Sorry, Madison. I didn't mean to. Well, I mean, I did specifically go out my way to lock you in there, but I was hoping you wouldn't get too pissy about it. But apparently I was wrong. You go and get your back massage for a bit. Nope. Not even going to look at them because I'll only be disappointed about the people I can't have. And I'll start sort of eyeing up my colonists with the view of maybe I could kill that one. Replace him with someone better. And that's mean. And despite the fact that I'm feeling mean, I'm not going to do it. Uh, there we go. Right. So let's keep on digging and see where we end up. The fact that we're hitting an ice biome next probably doesn't bode well for us finding magma. But, you know, with this game, who knows what might have happened. So, anyway, I will catch up with you when something interesting happens. Charlie, what are you doing? Uh-oh. Charlie is suffering from hypoxia, it seems, and cannot... Charlie, just... You can't just keep changing your mind as to where to go. Is there, there is... Okay, there's not much oxygen in there. So I think basically what he's doing is the, the oxygen keeps appearing in there and then disappearing. So he's like, ooh, I can go back there. No, just go here. Try that again. Come on, Charlie. Let's see if Charlie can make it. Because he's very, very close to death. Charlie, you're our newest person. Woo, that was close. Don't you feel silly, Charlie? Next time you need to breathe, pick a place to go get oxygen and stick with it. What a foolish person. So what happened there? Did they just breathe it all in? Oh, it ran out of oxygen because I haven't got it set. Because I haven't got it set on a high enough priority and they won't do anything if it's not set on a high enough priority. Look, there's, there's literally algae next to it. If this is just waiting for algae, I'm going to be very upset with you people. And it was waiting for water. I'll let you off. Okie doke guys, so I have made some progress, shall we say, in this expedition to the bottom of the earth. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to sort of catch you up a little bit, because if you'll notice in the top left hand corner, since the, what for you was just a moment ago, we have progressed on about 45, getting on to almost 50 cycles, um, and yeah. So what's happened basically is I've been having an absolute disaster with this game. Everything is taking so long. Um, this episode is a second attempt, as I said at the beginning, after I dumped the idea of this, which I've subsequently destroyed, which I don't think you saw me do that. Um, yeah, and... <sighs> why, why is there polluted water in there? I know, don't, don't get distracted to me, you've got a lot to catch people up on. Um, yeah, so basically, I, 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 this episode is about six hours in the making now, six or seven hours of gameplay and, well, of footage. And annoyingly, the second half of this episode, which I recorded, is lost, because my audio, for some reason, it's as if my microphone is in a different room. Um... No, we don't need anyone right now. Uh, yeah, it's like my... Uh, the audio, I can hear myself, but it's like I'm in a different room. I have no idea what's happening. And the only person who came through clearly on the microphone was Skylar when she barked halfway through it. So I'm not sure what happened then. And uh, to be honest, this has been so difficult that actually getting rid of it. So, like I say, we have made progress. However, it has been at a great cost. That being, uh, Hassan is unfortunately... Well, he's still with us. Uh, he's just uh, not doing very well, should we say, being that he is now dead. Um, down here with a more, there might be two, uh, oh, there's four mobs there apparently. With four mobs, a pile of uh, polluted water is Joe Bird. Uh, again, that is the second time I've killed her. I think I've replaced her already, haven't I? Uh, yeah, I've replaced her. But as you'll notice as well, everyone is currently running at 100% stress. So we are in full vomit mode right now, but that's that's fine. Uh, once they get to 100% stress, they can't get any more stress. I don't know how, who puked in here. 
I probably need a way to filter that out, but right now it's staying away from the pump. Uh, we've run out of water, you can see. I've pumped all that out, I've pumped all that out. We've run out of water, and we are still yet to have a way to produce fresh water. So I have actually made this. Um, I'm not sure where everyone is. I guess they're down in the pit. If we go down into the pit, um, I say I'm not sure where I left you off, but uh, game come down. I uh, got another oxygen station. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, boss uh, boss died yet again. So uh, that's uh, Joe. But are you about to take a dump on boss? No, you're fine. You're just climbing weirdly. <laughs> Look at that pose. If that isn't a drop a dump, I don't know what is. Anyway, um, more mobs there. We have plenty of meat. Uh, I stuck this block in here because uh, I was worried about the temperature in the base getting too high. <laughs> which uh, it stabilized a bit it was a little this this yellowy stuff here is a slight concern but it's only 28 degrees it's not like it's too bad not scolding this is why are you breaking down 30 degrees i'm not sure why that's breaking down i haven't got anyone who's destructive although i should probably check that at some point um yeah so i i put this block in wherever it is further down uh yeah to try and uh stop that i'm going to expand this a bit more because i'm collecting a bit at the moment uh, abyssalite or absolite however you say it um another oxygen station with a pooper because it would, literally they would come all the way down here mine one block and then go off and do a poop which was kind of annoying uh, so i i have where are the mealwood seeds there so i put a pooper down here for them to use uh this is all melting a lot so there's a hell of a lot of contaminated water forming down here as well as down here it's basically everywhere right now but i've turned the showers off so they can't go wash it off so they're just gonna live grimy um down here into another ice biome and i'm setting up a coal generator and battery because it's freaking miles to run electrical cable a hundred if i use a heavy watt particularly a hundred uh uh, copper per block that would cost a hell of a lot of copper um and also my circuits are all maxed out anyway so there's no point in trying to add anything else onto it so i thought i would just put a separate one in to power the stuff down here and we have found the magma ba -ba -da -ba -ba. right next to an ice biome which makes complete and utter sense um so we have another oxygen little thing down here which doesn't seem to be doing very well at the moment uh what are you waiting for? You're waiting for water. Oh, yeah, the slight issue is that we have, like, no fresh water, apart from this here. Uh, and because we're all down here busily working, no one's generating power, so we're not generating any more fresh water. There's a touch there they could maybe take. Um, so, yeah, so where we're up to, we are... They are actually... They actually did some work for once. They are down here, cracking on and finishing off. Now, uh, I'm using Abyssalite for everything in here. I'm, I'm going with Abyssalite, by the way, because it is... Uh, 100 degrees there, 100 degrees, 254 degrees, 250 degrees, and 1,599, 1,600. So yeah, the temperatures down here are pretty high, and the is has it. Uh, I think it's 2,000 degrees plus before it stops. Uh, 2,000 degree temperature increase to its damage point for heat. Uh, sure, could have said that in, in, in a more simple way. Uh, we are actually as well at the edge of the map. So, see this? This is neutronium. Uh, yeah, that's how you spell it, I guess. I'll say it even. Um, this is this is kind of like your bedrock in Minecraft. You can't mine through this. It is immeasurably heavy. It is special, and it is minus two hundred seventy-two degrees. So, right next to this. Uh, 1600 degree magma is minus 272 so that is a very special middle um, it's worth noting there is actually more beyond this there is a there is an outer edge which is beyond this now it might be that that outer edge only exists at the top maybe the, I think we're meant to be on a meteorite so maybe this uh, meteorite has a neutronium core which is why as we've dug down but I know uh, there is more beyond this, but maybe we'll have to dig up to the top to be able to find that. Uh, other exciting thing, these, there's some real hot zones down here. If I show you the temperature map. Um, yeah, look at this fucking ice biome between all of this. I mean, as if. As if, people. Um, but yeah, in here there is phosphorus, which uh, it sounds pretty nasty. Not sure. I haven't figured out anything to do with phosphorus right now. So 391 degrees in there as well. So, so I'm going to leave that sealed up for now. I don't think we need to go poking away at that. Uh, oh, they're building the uh, thing. What are nails? Nails is new. I don't think you'll know who nails is, but uh, he he joined us after many, one of the many many deaths. Um, also, I don't know if you saw this, but I I, I say I have no idea what what you haven't haven't seen, but. Uh, Boss and Joe Bird, the first, are, are buried here. 
And at some point I'll get to those, but not yet. Uh, how are we doing on oxygen is the other question. We were Oh, we are not doing very well. At one point, this was all beautiful, bright blue, but now that is that is no longer the case. Um, now, that is that is because... What did you just go there for? That's because they're, they're all busy down at the bottom doing stuff and they're not generating power and they're not even feeding these, which I don't really understand because these are level... level, um... 9, and... Yeah, this stuff is nine. I should probably knock it down to eight. But yeah, I'm not sure why they, uh, why no one's bothered to put coal in. We do have coal, I believe. Consumable ore, 2,864 kilos to be precise. Nice to finish this one though. Uh, I suppose you can do this and just, just put it on at eight. Um, this is actually going to help keep things cool, I think. Uh, so yeah, so. Other things in, uh, whilst uh, I've been away, I've been putting in all of the infrastructure. So there is, can't, well, you maybe can't see it here. We've got a heavy watt wire running through here. We've got an inf insulated liquid pipe and an insulated gas pipe. Why have I put an insulated liquid pipe in there? I didn't mean to do that. We could probably save ourselves a lot of pain and misery if we got rid of that. Uh, because it doesn't actually, oh, uh, hang on, hang on. Does that cancel or deconstruct? Yeah, cancel, good. Uh, yeah, we don't need insulated pipes. Hopefully I didn't do that all the way down. I did redo this several times, so it's possible that I, I, I did it right the first time. And then we did it wrong, because I am Wandering Timmy and I am a derp. Right, so it doesn't really matter what we use, but I've been using a lot of granite down here, just because there's like quite a bit of granite dotted around. There's only that last bit, bit to do, but we might as well do it and save a little bit of materials. And you can do it. So yeah, so this is kind of, this has taken a very, very long time. I've had like cycles where they've literally just done like barely one or two rocks in a day. So yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's taken, taken a long time just sitting here. Ooh, what are you? We don't have enough obsidian. Well, how about we don't make it out of obsidian if we haven't have enough of it? Make it out of something we do have a lot of. Uh, no, not this shoot deconstruct. Definitely not deconstruct gas pipes. Yep. There we are. And what do we have a lot of that we don't have to go far for? It has to be insulated. Oh yeah, we really have one out of obsidian. Uh, we still have seventy-seven thousand granite. So I guess we could just use this. There we go. Uh, and eventually this is going to have to, I know, I still haven't figured out where I'm going to cool this stuff down yet. Um, essentially it has to run through a couple of coolers. Now, I, well, I say it has to run through a couple of coolers. I'm wondering whether or not you could actually kind of create like a, a heat sink where the pipe goes back and forth uninsulated through a cold zone like this. Uh, and that, whether that would cool it down. However... Given the, the sort of wonky mechanics of this game currently, I, I think that's very, very unlikely that that would work. Ooh, let me... I've got more to cancel here. What have I been... What have I been doing with my time? I've been playing this for hours and uh, doing it all wrong. Maybe that's why I've been playing it for hours. If I'd done it right first time, it probably wouldn't have taken as long. More granite, please, and no insulated pipes. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Ah... Uh, if you uh, if you've watched my latest judgment episode where I ooh kind of going over the top of them there yeah if you watched my latest judgment episode I have no I just looked for a second like there was already pipes there um, yeah I talked a lot about the issues and problems I've been having and just generally where I am at the moment with things um, so I won't go into it in detail in this one but if you are interested in why the quiet channel's been a little bit quieter. Of late and why I maybe sound a little bit different because I've not been well and I'm still not well um, but not nothing serious just just well I mean it's, it's incredibly serious it's man flu but nothing that I won't get get better with met much treatment and whinging but uh, yeah so uh, I, I, I've not been my uh, myself shall we say or maybe I have been myself maybe I'm a, I'm a tired cranky miserable person in general and it's just the lack of illness that helps me uh, hide it 
Okay, right. So we're gonna we're gonna let him run for a minute. I I don't. We're not gonna get this done in this episode. Basically, I, I I've been the problem I've been having is I've been trying to get stuff done in episodes, and I got a lot done. Like don't get me wrong, building this freaking ladder is is a hell of an achievement in this game. But I think I'm gonna wrap it up pretty quickly, um, just because I'm scared of something else breaking. But um, we'll wrap it up, and then we can start afresh in the next episode. I'll let him run and finish off all this pipe work and all that kind of crap um and get the at least as close as we can to being complete and then next episode we'll switch this thing on and try and get it running uh one thing i have noted uh, the 100 percent thing by the way not even bothered not even bothered uh i will get to dealing with that at some point um they don't i mean i, I don't know if it slows down their working maybe but they, they don't seem to care they apart from the fact they puke everywhere but all that does is create more water, and quite frankly, water is useful. Um, I'm sort of building up a nice pool down here. Oh, wow, this... I know, yeah, that broke through. Um, you know, if, assuming we can get the system working, I have absolutely gallons and gallons of uh, polluted water everywhere waiting to be purified by, by heat. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to leave that. What, I, what I've tended to do in this game of late is when things start getting out of control or if I've got a huge job on like this I will literally let them get stressed and just forget about de-stressing them until I get all get over the hump and get the job done and then I will distress them so once this is all up and running and we've got fresh water being delivered to our empty tank eesh, I don't like the look at that um, we will then start cleaning up the base sh letting them shower de-stressing them and gradually sort of over the f kills a few days and bringing them back um, so yeah, so but that's all for the future. For right now, we are all living in misery, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, the next, the interesting thing I'm thinking, I, I I don't really know how this is supposed to work. I haven't looked at this solution, uh, and given that I looked at the battery solution before trying it and failed miserably, I don't think there was any particular problem with me not looking. But my intention, I mean, it's yeah, it's not quite warm enough in there. Um, my intention is to dig these out. That's why I've left these holes here. Is to actually dig down and potentially expose the magma now that could be a terrible idea uh, and I will certainly be using somebody who is to we say uh, I don't mind if I lose and in fact at this point the only person I don't want to lose is Madison because he's been around since the beginning and he has cool hair so um, I will pick somebody else other than Madison to dig down through here because I'm not sure whether or not this is gonna like this is gonna be under pressure in which case it might literally flood out the moment I unlock it, or if they're just going to die, fall into it, or the heat of this stuff is just going to kill them, I don't know. But what I want, I want this ideally to be exposed so the water can kind of run into these pits and boil instantly, and then up, collected by this, and as I've said before, sent off as steam through the pipes until it's put to a point where it gets cooled. Uh, and then once it gets cooled back below 100 degrees, it'll return into water and drip into my tank. So that is that is that is my hope and my dream. We will see if that dream comes to fruition. But they, uh, apart from the ones I haven't prioritised, they've actually done pretty good work on the on the pipeline. See, Trump could take something from me. How quickly I built that pipeline. No protests. Well, to be fair, lots of people died, which is to say, was probably what's going to happen with those pipelines. But. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Joe Bird. You just puke. Puke. Puke on boss's dead body. He's more of a real problem to deal with him. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to actually wrap it up there um, and say we'll pick it up in the next episode and try and get this stupid thing working. And after hours. Ooh, there's another person with Madison's hair. Which means we cannot have you. Go away. Um, you know, after hours and hours of trying and practicing, we may, we may have a system. To produce uh, clean water, I really should just fucking use these. Let's just check something before I end it. Yeah, I got 23,000 kilos of, of, of sand. I really should have just used one of them. It would have saved me so much time. But anyway, I didn't. So, guys, that is going to do it. So, feedback. What is, or let me know what you think. If you know, tell me what you, what's going to happen when I dig this out. If you don't know, take a guess on what's going to happen with this. But, uh, but yeah, just let me, let me have your feedback. And, uh, like I say, I'm going to try and try and get myself back on track and try and get sort of videos coming out uh, regularly uh, whether it's going to be sort of daily ish should we say like I have been doing up to now I'm not sure we'll see how busy I am in the rest of my life but I'm certainly going to try and keep things going so 
I want to thank you all for watching. Those of you that have, uh, I've been Timmy. Uh, this has been Oxygen Not Included. I hope you're very much enjoying this series, and I hope very much you'll check back for the next episode.